where I'm supposed to be, right? I'm here for the FSU College of Motion Picture Arts interview. Perfect. Nice to meet you. My name is Noah Grossman. But something tells me you already know that. Perfect. You already know a little bit about me, but I bet you'd like to know more about my commitment to storytelling. Well, I hope you're comfy because I'm about to tell you a pretty spectacular story. The idea of college itself has kind of always freaked me out. Everyone your age has to apply to a school that knows nothing about you besides what you say in their application. It's scary and could easily make someone feel like they're just another name in the system rather than a one-of-a-kind student. That being said, I had to make sure that my application to film school was a perfect representation of the unique aspects I bring to the table. Or in this case, desk. I had reached a perfectly ironic situation. How am I supposed to showcase my storytelling capabilities if I can't even think of a story that I'm capable of telling? Does that even make sense? I'm going to bed. You up? No, I'm still sleeping. You know FSU applications are due soon. Yeah, Dad, two weeks, I know. I just wanted to make sure you knew. And if you get in, we're not repainting your room. So yeah, it's just the film school application that I'm more worried about, because the regular one I'm not even like scared about, you know what I mean? Yeah, I still don't know why you're so into going to FSU. Don't you wear University of Florida underwear? Do you even own any garden and gold? Well, what I wear doesn't change where I want to go to school after I graduate, and that just so happens to be the film school. So, film school's the real deal, and I gotta figure out my storytelling thing. So, have you talked to Mr. Mayor? I didn't even think about that. Oh yeah, because that makes sense. Why would you talk to the TV production teacher who teaches you how to tell a story? I'm gonna go see him now. You're welcome. Alright, so like I was saying, storytelling guys, it's not that difficult. Um, every story has a beginning, has a middle, and has an end. You want to make sure that that common plot is just carried out through the entire story. The beginning is going to establish the plot line. In the middle, you want to have to elaborate on that plot and carry it through the entire story. And in the end, you're gonna tie it all together. Do you need something, Noah? Um, never mind. I'm just gonna go work on something back here. Seeing as Mr. Mayor was too busy to help me at the moment, I decided to listen to the advice he was giving his class. I realized that my career as a storyteller was a story in itself that had to be told from beginning to end. That being said, I edited together a rough narration of my life as a filmmaker so far to help tell my story. When I was little, my grandpa, Pop-Pop, used to read me stories. He would be extremely descriptive with his words. Because of him, I grew up appreciating the power of language and its effect on writing. Throughout elementary school, I would bring my dad's camera everywhere I went, so I didn't miss a thing. Capturing Morgan on video. He doesn't even know. Uh-oh. When I began sixth grade, I started acting. Portraying a character within a play taught me a lot about storytelling and made me realize how much I loved performing. It was in middle school when I got my first convenient camera, my iPod. Even though I knew my iPod wasn't capable of making a real movie, I immediately started using the iMovie app and my love for editing had begun. No me gusta verduras. Sure, it started off a little rough, but next up was high school. Once I befriended my school's TV production teacher during freshman year, I took TV1 my sophomore year. I couldn't wait to be on the school news as a junior, and TV1 allowed me to learn how to fulfill my dream of being an anchor. This is Noah Grossman. Hello, this is Noah Grossman. And I'm Noah Grossman. Noah Grossman is such an unprofessional news anchor. Once I started my junior year, my storytelling skills skyrocketed. I can't do any, I can't, I can't do any, I can't, I can't do anything better than you. You know. Better than you, better, better than you. You know. In addition to learning how to anchor, I had responsibilities such as making promos for clubs that would air on the news. Being junior class president at the time, many school organizations would learn to come to Noah Grossman if they wanted to advertise club info on the news. Culver. 
I became much better at editing and also got used to writing and directing stories in a minute or less since that's what commercials are for. Using my acquired skills, I directed, acted, and edited a short film I wrote called Tweeters, which I entered in my school district student film festival. Even though I didn't win the short film category, I taught myself a lot of useful techniques in writing, directing, and editing. Find a way. There's no way they're pulling this off. I'm hoping I can continue learning all there is to know about storytelling and filmmaking at Florida State's College of Motion Picture Arts. I wasn't entirely satisfied with my video because it felt rushed somehow, almost as if it wasn't really done. I thought back to what Mr. Mayer was saying to his class about stories and tried relating it to my situation I was wrapped up in at the time. Then it hit me. I knew exactly what I had to do in order to finish my video. Mr. Mayer's lesson made me realize that in order to get to the end of my story and tie everything together, I had to start at the beginning. After all, I was in the middle and according to Mr. Mayer, that's when the plot needs elaborating. I decided that I'd go see Pop-Up since he is the one who got me hooked on making up stories. I miss him a lot, so I try to see him as much as I can with my busy schedule. I know there's going to be a day where I'm visiting him at the cemetery and not just Nana, so I can't take his years of wisdom for granted. One. Two. I filled him in on my situation once we got back to his place, over a game of pool. I figured, if he's telling me how to play pool, why can't he also tell me how to finish my video while he's at it? Well, son, I think whatever you do in finishing this, it'll be good. Because you have to just plan a little bit ahead. Not far ahead, but a little bit ahead. Okay, but how can I set myself apart from everybody else? How's this for setting yourself apart? Pop-Pop can't stand as long as he used to, but when he sat down, he told me something that was actually pretty helpful. I think you're overthinking it a little bit anyway, because you're always comparing yourself to somebody else. Noah, you have a lot more chapters left in your storytelling career. <laughs> there you get it, Noah? Storytellers, chapters in your career. Let's finish the game. Once I recovered from that awful pun, I realized Pop-Pop was right. I'd been comparing myself to other people the whole time, worried that mine wasn't good enough, when in reality my journey as a storyteller is one of a kind and it's far from over. Just because Pop-Pop had shed some light on my situation didn't mean my problems were over. I still had no idea how to properly convey the message that my commitment to storytelling is still growing. I thought about the day I'd had and made the bittersweet conclusion that college was bringing lots of change into my life. The plans you make in life aren't permanent. The people you befriend in life have their own plans they have to follow. The advisors you turn to in life won't always be there to help you out with your plans. Even the family that you grow up with in life can only make it to the dedication page and the story of your life. It's your job to write that story on your own and to carry it out until the ending. How is that for commitment to storytelling? All I had to do was write a story about my day all along. Plus, I learned a meaningful life lesson about growing up. Pretty impressive stuff, am I right? Well, I think so. Of course, I am pretty biased. You think that the real interview is going to go just as well, though, right? Well, if it goes anything like this one, we're going to have to repaint your room. Well, I guess Dad's office will have to do for now, but I'm hoping I can pass the real interview in a few months. I've practiced, applied, and even gotten the big man's approval to repaint my room. There's nowhere else I'd rather learn more about the craft I love, and if you're willing to have me, I'd love to start my next chapter as a storyteller at FSU's College of Motion Picture Arts.